Oh, back to the expanse. We're doing um, we're doing some I don't know extra episode, bonus episode, something about and in politics, someone on Earth. The Secretary General and other high-ranking UN administrators are on Luna for a security summit. We await the official briefing later tonight. Deputy Undersecretary Christian Avasarala has been sequestered to an undisclosed Earth location I don't for know emergency if this is government before operations. Before or after what we just did? Archangel is arriving. Stand by for resume post. We're at the same time. Ma'am, if you need anything at all, you can use it. So this is the Secretary General's hideaway. Not bad for a coffin. Nishan, where the fuck are you? Good morning, Madam Deputy Undersecretary. She smokes a little too much. How was your trip in? You mean my descent? I'm being guarded like a fucking war prisoner. What do you think? Was it another assassination plot? Could be any damn thing. With everyone on Luna for the summit, I am suddenly the highest ranked official on the planet. Congratulations. <laughs> Bullshit. I was the only one expendable enough to remain on Earth. Where is your voice coming from, anyway? I don't see a comms link. Tap tap. What in the flying fuck? Uh, apologies for the dramatic reveal. I know how you dislike me pinging your terminal all day. This seemed to be a workable solution. I also took the liberty of having security bring down some of your personal items. Jesus. How long do you think I'll be down here? Down here as in down on Earth? Okay, messages. And Admiral Krusko has sent an urgent message about a situation near Juno. And Undersecretary Mendez is still hounding you about the reorganization plan. That's all? No, there's also a message from Callisto. Are you sure? Yes, it reached your receiver about 45 minutes ago. I forwarded it to your hand terminal. Okay, go back to your dock. Let me get to work. Oh my god, this is so many buttons. Press tab to view your current objectives. You know, look, examine. Um. Few messages. Under Secretary Avasarala, with Fleet Admiral Hold indisposed on Luna, we've been instructed to defer to you for matters of lawful jurisdiction. At 1800 hours, the MCRN battleship Ramses II entered Juno Moon Space. We have hailed the Ramses II three times, and we are now within our rights to seize the vessel. However, I've been ordered to seek your go-ahead on all matters in the belt, regardless of urgency or severity. Seeing as you are a civilian administrator, I urge you to trust your military officers to make the right decisions. I eagerly await your response, but I must warn you, if we do not receive orders soon, we will be forced to engage. Admiral Krusko, out. Civilian administrator, my ass. Brass prick. This Krusko seems damn sure of himself. That makes me even less confident of his assessment. I better look into it myself before responding. Puzzle. Gather intel on the star map. Slide the tiles connect both halves of the key. To key? Um. Hmm. What? Oh, I gotta use keyboard. Um, hmm. No, wait a minute.
Can't move these? Oh, those are okay. Um, okay, then I guess I gotta move that. Let's do anything. Oh. It's working. There we go. I leave this here until I know what it opens. Leave this here until I know what it opens. Oops, what? Gather intel at the star map. I should put up the reports on Juno and Ramses, too. A chest with Arjun. Play. I don't know how to play. So I'm gonna lose. Morning, my love. You look but maybe it'll be really dumb it's and true, I can I still win. You, but I've learned that it's safer to assume. If I was with you, I wouldn't be able to stop from sweeping you into my arms and carrying you away. But okay. I'm not. And we'll have to settle for your bishop. Your move, darling. Oh, am I not going to make a choice? Oh, that's probably better. My dear Arzum. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Attack! Have you learned nothing? I'm always playing a different game than you expect. Ask your king what I mean. I would much rather play a very different game. Sadly, I have been locked in a bunker by some idiot bureaucrats. But when I return home, you should block out your schedule. Did I win? I'm not gonna meditate. I do want to look at this though. I want one. Dear God, what a waste of water. Yeah, but it's so cool. So this is where our discretionary funds have gone. To feather an underground nest. Once I've finished my work, this will serve nicely for a while. Okay, I guess back to start map. A known OPA terrorist meeting with Martian agents. This could be interesting. Uh, for Quill Caldera, known lieutenant of the Voltaire Collective, a radical faction owner. Caldera was spotted in the Vesta Station. Meeting with operatives, blah, blah, blah. OPA tattoos and forearms. I augments. Close. Um, oh. hmm. Based on the velocity, the Ramses doesn't appear to be any immediate threat to Juno. All the more reason to keep assessing and avoid making a mistake. Martians are brash. 
But a move like this requires serious balls. I don't like it. Why would they enter a heavily guarded demilitarized zone with a single warship? It doesn't add up. Early mining data has identified the warship as MCRN, a uh, battleship previously stationed near IO, it's mission unknown, blah 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 blah. One can only imagine what we could have done with Triumph for its ship rights and a huge step toward legitimacy for its upstart administrators. Psycho Station has announced the completion of the primary rotation drum for its central construction project, the LDSS. Nauvoo. Many were skeptical of Fred Johnson's intention to enter into a long-term agreement with Mormon elders headquartered on Earth. However, the resulting deal has proven to be both monetarily beneficial and technologically innovative. And approximately 2,500 meters in length and propelled by a precedented A blah 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 blah. It was crew of 4,000 and thrived during a century-long journey beyond Soul System to its destination in Tal City. Okay. If you say so. Record message to Krushko. Hell. Tell me about that shit eating admiral. I have his file here, but something is off. Gaps in command, sealed records. So Krusko has something to hide. Maybe something I could use as leverage if he won't take orders. Let me do some digging. It might be nothing, but it couldn't hurt. Oh, I need to record a message. How do I record a I message? I thought I'd miss the real nation, but this little gadget creeps me out. Hand terminal. Um. Listen, listen. Hi, Mom. It's me. They lifted the comms embargo, and I wanted to say, hey, I haven't heard from you in a few days, and, well, I'm worried. You took the news about Marie badly. She's not what you think she is. She's not a terrorist. She's fighting for justice for ordinary mm -hmm. people who were caught in the crossfire. I know you say I distract myself from what's important, but, well, this is important. She is, to me. Anyway, I love you, and I miss you. Keep me in your prayers. Talk soon. Stupid boy. This is no time for romance. Reply. We're recording someone else, aren't we? Sweet child, the United Nations did not send you all the way across the solar system to get laid. We love to hear from you. But I expect updates on your health and safety, not on your damn love life. Listen to me, because I won't say it again. <laughs> Go to the nearest medical clinic and get tested. The full STD panel. <laughs> Those outer planet whores are the worst in the system. If discretion is required, forward the bill to me. And let this be the last we speak of it. Now, go. I'm sure there is something more important you should be doing. And be safe, my sweet boy. Make us proud. Let's go. Send reply. There we go. Admiral Krusko. This is Christian Avasarad, Deputy Undersecretary for Peace Operations for the United Fucking Nations. <laughs> In case you have forgotten, I won't have any personal feelings about the Martians drive you to act unwisely. You will stand by for my orders and not move a goddamn inch until told to do so. Have a nice day. Oh my god.
contact Mendez. Chris Jen, I hear you're working out of the bunker today. Is it as ostentatious as everyone says? Only thing missing is a chandelier. I hear you were looking for me. Ah, yes. Listen, your role as Undersecretary of Peace Operations is invaluable, of course. And yet? And yet, the Belter threat calls for greater scrutiny. It should be the work of a committee, one that I'm shocked has informed earlier. Anyway, the Security Council is planning a vote on the issue. What issue? The issue of whether to strip me off my powers and throw the belt into chaos? I know big changes can be challenging, especially when you've been in the UN for so long. But this is a move to protect our people. The belt is on the verge of collapse. And you want to appoint a bunch of people who have no experience there. Explain how that protects anyone. We'll assemble the best team we can. Any transition invites some amount of instability. But, listen, maintaining peace in the belt is more than one person can accomplish. Everyone is finally acknowledging all the work you do. By taking my job? Oh, don't think of it that way. If you excuse me, I've got another call. Always a pleasure. Make a drink at the bar, really. Is anything gonna actually happen when you're just gonna sit in this office the whole episode? Am I ready to unwind? operations. Stand by. The time window for restoration of services has been extended indefinitely. Thank you. Does the director of operations happen to report to Undersecretary Mendez? Yes, D.O. Tanaka is a direct report. This is no accident. Mendez is trying to pluck me out of the boat. Forgive me, Madam Deputy, but isn't that a little paranoid? Um. His attempt to reorganize the Security Council would leave me powerless. He will stop at nothing to make it happen. Whatever is causing it, we won't get much done without power. You underestimate me, Nissan. My electrical engineering degree wasn't just for show. Yeah, this again. Word of this gets out, I'll have your testicles as paperweights. Understood, Madam Deputy Undersecretary. Mm -hmm. I learned a few things besides networking at Kano Polytech. Let's hope I remember them. Mm, people made this game really like wires. Connect right, connect down. Where are we starting? Where are we trying to get to? Um... Oh, 
down leads to nowhere. Oh, uh, down leads to nowhere. What? I thought that's what I hit. The wrong button. Okay. Right, so... Down leads to nowhere. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, connect up or connect down. We'll go down. And then... I guess we're getting to the other yellow box, so... Um... Down there... Okay, we connect left. Connect. 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 Uh, left. <laughs> Yay, we got our waterfall back. What can I say? I live to impress you, Nishan. <laughs> we have power again, but it's limited. Any news from the outside world? The Security Council vote will proceed as planned, but you are scheduled to address the delegates first. The Ramses II is still off course near Juno, and the intervention window is closing. You've received another message from Admiral Kruzko, and you should be able to contact him again. That won't mean shit if I can't make him listen. Did you find any dirt on him? I'm afraid not. Of course, if the Secretary General weren't indisposed, he might share whatever unsealed files he might have. He's safe. I like this dark side of you, Nishan. I learned from the best, Madam Undersecretary. It. Messages. Under Secretary, this is Admiral Kruzko. I'm afraid the situation near Juno has reached its inflection point. The Martians are now openly flouting system law, and this act cannot go unanswered. Your empty posturing may be how you and bureaucrats conduct business, but we in the Navy are men and women of action. No orders have been issued, but I cannot guarantee the obedience of my captains. They understand that lives are at stake, and they are only human. I implore you to transmit orders as soon as possible. Krusko, signing off. This asshole won't respect me unless I make him. Gather intel before applying to Cruzco. I probably don't need to tell you why I'm writing after everything the two of you have been through. You're going to give him over a girl, really? For a diplomat? Uh, charge in a bad place? Oh, uh, what? I don't care. Hi, Mom. It's me again. Two messages in one day. Must be a new record, right? So, we're gearing up for a mission. I don't know where yet, I never do, but I wanted to reach out. What you said about Marie, that was pretty low, even for you. <laughs> She's important to me, Mom. You both are. That's why I want to be honest about my feelings. Just don't push me away, okay? Call me back when you get a chance. I'd love to hear from you before we deploy. Blah, blah, blah. Sweet boy. You must stay safe and return to us soon. You have an important job to do, and I trust you to do it well. However, this is no time for sentimentality. All soldiers feel strongly on the eve of battle, which is why it's the worst fucking time to make decisions. Push this Marie out of your head and focus on what matters. You know what to do. I love you desperately, and I pray I will see your face again soon. Semper Fi, my sweet boy.
Yeah, they're Intel where? Still need to get back to Cruzco. No. Under Secretary, this is Admiral Cruzco. We just listen I'm to him. The situation near Juno has reached its inflection point. The Martians Wait. are now oh, openly we already flouting this. system law, and this act no. cannot go unanswered. Dirty listen to this. Empty posturing may be how UN bureaucrats conduct business, but we in the Navy are men and women. Oh of my action. God! Can I no leave this? No. Have been issued, but I cannot. Needs to be a way to cancel. Let me cancel. They I don't want to listen to all this all over again. Lives are at stake, and they are only human. I implore you to transmit orders as soon as possible. Krusko signing off. This asshole won't respect me unless I make him. As if I needed another reason to detest space travel. It's like living in a petri dish. What intel am I gathering? Those high price mercs better put an end to this. I don't want Chernobyl involved. Martyrs, no. Is it? Fanatics is more like it. Is that enough intel? What other intel is there? Did that one, did that one, did that one. Can't do anything up there. Inner planets. Charnable has always liked the dust runners. Yet another topic we butt heads on. NGO observers on Mars are raising alarms over a huge movement of Martian citizens in the region of Tharsis, west of Olympus Mons, volcano and home to Hesperia Base, the MCRN's largest, second largest military installation. Such a large migration has not been seen since the days of Vesta blockade. Sources close to Mars Transit have attributed the activity to a performance by the music group The Dust Runners. It was scheduled for a live performance. However, UN intelligence seek additional information. Assassinating a poet. Literary criticism has Mr. Guzman has recently been targeted by the far right Earth First movement in a politically ordered assassination directive. As a result, security in and around his speaking events will be heightened. This means the Ramses II is alone. If there were stealth escorts, we would have noticed them missing. Is that oh record message for Cruzco. That's enough intelligence. Don't need to be any smarter. You mess no, where are you? So you want to call before you found all the dirt on Cruzco? What? Wait on what? Undersecretary, this is Admiral Cruzco. Oh my god. I'm afraid the situation near Juno has reached its Oh my god, point. not this again. The Martians are now openly flouting what, what? system law and this act cannot go unanswered. What info are we waiting Your on? Empty posturing may be how you and damn, I hate this. conduct business. But we in the Navy are men and women of action. No orders have been issued, but I cannot guarantee the obedience of my captains. They understand that lives are at stake and they are only human. I implore you to transmit orders as soon as possible. Krusko signing off. This oh my God. Won't yes, we know. Don't let me do that. Why do you let people do this? I I don't know what else you want from me. Send a reply. Krusko, here are your orders. You will remain in place. You will not intercept the MCR and Ramses II. Understand, this is not a request, and I owe you no explanation. I will await your confirmation of these orders.
contact Mendez. Wait, no, we're not playing any chess again. I didn't even get to actually play. Oh, Christian, I was just about to call you. The council has set the date for the reorganization vote. It's today, in full assembly. And I don't suppose you'd consider a postponement for the council member who's working from a hole in the ground. Oh, believe me, I asked, begged even. But there's too much momentum. Traded. You're looking at this all wrong. Vote against this motion with me. And we can secure the belt without all the red tape of the committee. While I'd never bet against your persuasive talents, I have a meeting to run to. I'll just have to go with my gut on this vote. Jeffrey, I like you. You're ambitious. And you have balls. That's why I am telling you to cancel the vote. You don't want to go up against me. Christian, you are an inspiration. I've looked up to you for, well, my whole career. But this motion is moving forward. And last I counted, you were three votes short. Cocksucker. I've populated your screen with five delegates whose votes may be winnable. You should call them and see where they stand. Very good. Oh, that's a lot more people. What votes? Oh, I guess I have to contact all those people. Oh my god. This is Deputy Governor Dunning. Natalie is Christian. I should have known. How are you, my friend? And what about your husband and those delightful children? Chris, if I thought you gave a shit about my family, we'd both be in a different line of work. <laughs> now, what do you need? It's the Security Council vote. Can I count on you to reject the reorganization under Mendes? I like you, Chris, but not enough for charity. Meaning? Shepherd Complex has a faulty filtration system, and it needs updating. But the funds are never there. See that Shepard gets its new water tower, and I'll support you. I'll see what I can do. You're Christian Abasarala. I expect a lot more than that. Well, this is a surprise. To what do I owe the honor? This is about the vote to reorganize the Security Council. Ah, I see. Well, Jeffrey Mendez is a spiteful worm, and any motion he champions is certainly one I will vote against. So, I have your support? If you make me one promise. What? I'm afraid I can't make you any promises, Director Singh. Smart. As of now, I will vote with you against the reorganization. However, whatever happens in negotiations, you cannot raise taxes. If you plan a tax hike of any kind, you will be calling Mendez Sir before the week is out. Do you understand? A more powerful Jeffrey Mendez is something nobody wants. True, but power abhors a vacuum. If Mendez is stopped, who will step in to take his place? You? I understand the situation. And I will make this work. I appreciate the call, Madam Undersecretary. Good luck. Avasarala. Okoro, I've heard that you're undecided on the security reorganization. Only because I knew you'd show up here eventually. Don't patronize me. The only reason you have a job is because I promised your boss a kickback from those mining subsidies. Listen, I don't... No, you listen. You sit in that chair because I made it happen. And now, you're going to give me what I need. So I can give you the vote, but I'll need something in return. Don't keep me in suspense. We're getting a lot of flack from the wealthier tiers of the Earth admin zones. Too many private regulations over spaceport licensing. You're joking. They want the UN Accountability Office to deregulate private spaceports. And they're fine with higher taxes, if that's what gets it done. Very well. I will get back to you. 
I'm sure you will. But only when your back's against the wall. Does she think I do this to make friends? Is this for real? Christian Abbasarala. It's been a long time. Elena, it's been a few years. Years? Come on. You remember the last time we saw each other. Of course, that was a wonderful <laughs> day we had together. At the ambassador's funeral? Fuck. It had its moments, I guess, but wonderful. You've always been a funny one, Christian. Listen, I need a favor. Let me guess. Mend a security plan? How did you know? Singh warned me you'd be calling. But I understand why you're concerned. Any idiot can see what Mendez is trying to pull. Can I count on you? You may. But only if the proposed water tower in Shepherd Complex never moves forward. Oh, you're not a supporter of the project? I'm not a supporter of handing Dunning another fucking victory to pad her resume for committee assignments. I see. I knew you would. Uh -oh. Gotta run. Good luck Might today, have to Christian. Pick some. Might have to like uh, figure out which. Oh, more. I gotta figure out which plans to pass or something to get people's votes. What can I do for you, Madam Undersecretary? I'm coming to you for help with the Security Council's reorganization proposal. Oh, that? I'm afraid the belt's security status doesn't affect the People's Party's platform. Not directly, anyway. Then I would like to ask for your vote. And incur the wrath of Jeffrey Mendez? I don't know how I feel about that. Mendes is not the one you should be afraid of, Mr. Weiss. I'm not sure I appreciate that implication, Madam Undersecretary. It's simply a reminder that the People's Party has friends in the UN, and you wouldn't want to jeopardize that friendship. Listen, I want to help, but I have my own issue that I could use your support with. Naturally. The private spaceports of the wealthy are draining resources and crowding public lands. Now, some delegates are attempting to remove the limited regulatory oversight we have. Spaceport regulations. That's your issue? That, and raising taxes, of course. The people have spoken. Very well. Thank you for your time, Mr. Weiss. Anytime. We appreciate your support. I've captured the findings from your conversations with the delegates. You can review and prepare your policy decisions when ready. Oh, hey, great. I have to choose station. which policies to put through to get votes. Duck voting session. Wait, where am I doing that at? Uh, is that on the computer? Or am I having to leave? We've heightened our security protocols in response to the increased threat level. I apologize for the inconvenience to you. How is your power back on? Don't worry about it. Have you considered, Private, that if this were a real security threat, they wouldn't have assigned a single fucking private to handle it? Not my place to consider, ma'am. I have a job to do. Same here, you insufferable automaton. Um, I guess it's on the computer? Key, take. Where, where the frick am I going? I love being reminded of all the beautiful places I can't visit.
Uh, I guess we'll look on here first. No. Oops. Oh, no. Conduct voting session where? Oh, hold on. Voting. There we go. It didn't have a little icon before. Let's figure out which policies I support to get the vote locked in. I have the summary for you to review. Oh, uh, let's see. Yes to deregulate. No to tax increases. Yes to no. Let's see. Let's see if we deregulate private space forts. No. Let's see the ones with two are the key ones, I guess. Let's see no tax increase if we are. Oh, uh, the yes to a water tower raises. So. We will get him. Ah. See, no to spaceports. We get him. Raise taxes. Get that. We lose them. It looks like I have to do what I don't want to do. No water tower means we lose her. No water tower. No. Yes, we can get them, them. We lose them, lose them, lose them. So we have to go with the corrupt way. Let's say no. No to the water tower, no to tax increase, and yes to deregulate spaceports. Oh my god. No, I'm, I'm gonna do what I want. Again, it's deregulating. Price is right. Earth's wealthy don't need fewer regulations. I'm gonna go with what's Excellent. right. Or building water tower. Let's give Dunning a water tower. Okay. And raise the taxes. Akuru and Wise are both fine with increased taxes, and we'll need the funds. Noted. I think we lost the vote. Madam, according to my calculations, these policy decisions will not get you the votes you need. God damn it. Let's try again. Try again. Perhaps we should examine your stance on raising taxes. No. Against deregulating. Wise is right. Earth's wealthy don't need fewer regulations. Excellent. War building. Let's give Dunning a water tower. Okay. Let's go against raising taxes, though. Seeing is a single issue voter. No new taxes. Got it. Madam, according to my calculations, oh my God. policy decisions will not get you the votes you need. You're going to force me to do the ones I don't Let's want. Let's try again. Oh my freaking God. Madam, if you vote not to raise taxes, won't that kill the water tower bill as well? Without those funds. Shit. You have a point. Okay. Let's try. Let's give Earth oh my God. rich idiots even less oversight. Yes, on deregulation. Oh, that hurts. Understood. But it's not going to let me do anything else. Or building. Let's give Dunning a water tower. Okay. Akuru and Wise are both fine with increased taxes, 
and we'll need the funds. Noted. Madam, according to oh my, my god, these policy decisions will not get you the votes you need. God damn it. Let's try again. You're not gonna let me be good. Perhaps we should examine your stance on raising taxes. Perhaps let's give Earth rich idiots even less oversight. Oh, uh, tell me they're yes, giving me the answer now. Understood. I need Masterson's vote, and she's not wrong about the water tower. But we'll have to wait. Sounds good. Singh is a single issue voter, and no new taxes. Got it. Let me double check these tallies. Congratulations, Madam Deputy. This should secure you the votes. I'll send along your policy commitments to the five delegates. <sighs> Thank fuck. Of course, none of that would matter if I'm not there to cast a deciding vote. I've requested a postponement to the session. In lieu of that, you can always connect it remotely, now that the power's restored. I'm not banking on it. Keep pressing them. I don't like my character. I have to make more drinks. Why am I an alcoholic? I really don't like this character. I'm guessing she's in the show. Am I ready for a break? Or is there more to do? Is she this bad in the show too? Am I ready for a break? Is there more to do? Ready. That's the good news. But the Security Council still hasn't responded to our request to postpone the vote. No matter. So long as the trains are running, I will be there to see the look on Manda's face when I end this farce. <laughs> Very good. I'll prepare for your imminent arrival. When you're ready. Ah! Security breach. Security what breach. What now? Security breach. Lockdown protocols, Archangel. Move! 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 That looks like Elon. Who the fuck this is? Who the fuck else locked me in this prison? It was for your own safety. There's been a security breach in the compound, ma'am. Lash out. Stop calling me that, you hick. I am deputy undersecretary in the United Nations, not your country grandmother. Yes, deputy undersecretary. I'm sorry. We're conducting our sweep now, and we will have the site secure as soon as possible. I can't wait for soon. The vote is happening now. That's the whole point of all this. Sharp, this is your last chance. Obey my orders and let me out of here now, or deal with the consequences. I'm so sorry, ma'am. The consequences are immaterial. I have my orders and must see them through. Yes, yes, motherfucking soldier you are. Dismissed, private. Get out of the safe room. How? What the f incense? We're gonna start a fire. This might come in handy.
Um. Use terminal. Unless I can find a way out of here, the vote will pass, and Mendes will kill me with his smugness. Like the bed on fire? Oh, smoke sensor. Where there's smoke, there's fire alarm. Come on. Fuck me. It's real? your screen. Poor reception. Reinforced walls. We can't get back to the bunk from in here. What the fuck is your plan then? Uh, I don't know. I'm so sorry. Don't apologize. Just blow. Blow! Enjoy the R and R, Private. You've earned it. Ma'am, let me out. Nishan? Linking you into the session now. If that's all the arguments, we will convene the vote. All those in favor. Excuse me, counselors. I have the deputy undersecretary. Madam, whenever you're ready. Counselors, I apologize for my tardiness. I have been enjoying the Secretary General's underground hospitality today. We all want to increase security in the belt, but this vote will not accomplish it. The measure is a political maneuver. Undersecretary Mendes has no experience in the belt, and putting him in charge is a dangerous overreach. Counselors, my son is stationed on Callisto. No one wants to de-escalate tensions in the bells more than me. But this motion will only lead to more chaos. Thank you, Madam Avasarala. We'll convene the vote then. All those in favor? All opposed? motion has failed 67 to 66. Security in the belt will remain under the jurisdiction of the Deputy Undersecretary. Thank you, everyone. Meeting adjourned. One last thing, Secretary. I would like to put on the record my personal commendation of one private sharp. Um... Sure. For remaining steadfast to his post in the face of tremendous obstinacy by yours truly. He is an exemplary soldier and I see a bright future for him after today. Your commendation has been added to the record. Meeting adjourned. The security protocols are lifted. Ma'am, I don't know what to say. Thank God. Now, get the hell out of my office. Ma'am? <laughs> yes, ma'am. What was that? office? I rather like the sound of that. Is that the end? Nope. More messages to read. Should I mess with all the no, SG's that's... screen settings before he gets back from Luna? Yes. Does it count as treason? Do it. Uh... 
what are we doing? Review messages. Madam Avasarala, I've received your instructions, such as they were. I found them both insufficient and ill-prepared, respectfully speaking. Shortly after your last message, we initiated an attack on the MCRN Ramses II. We boarded the ship and no threats were discovered. Immediately afterward, Juno reported a spike in insurgent activity. Protests, vandalism far too coordinated to be the work of angry belters alone. While we were chasing our tails, Mars was already working to re-establish order on Juno after the chaos they created. Questions of whether Mars should have sole control over Juno are already being raised, just as the Martians planned. I'm prepared to accept responsibility, and only ask that my soldiers not be disciplined for their loyalty in following my orders. I'm drafting the official report. Your oversight will be documented as well. Perhaps we both could have been more thorough. Cusco out. Admiral Krusko. I'm sorry to hear that my orders weren't enough to deter you, and shocked that you would be stupid enough to admit this to me. Your inability to follow a simple order will be discussed at length once you return to Earth. I tell you not to fuck this up any more than you have, but I sincerely doubt that's possible. Leave the office. <sighs> Madam Undersecretary? Yes, Lisa. You know? I feel strangely sentimental about you in this room. I worry that you in the flesh again may be something of a letdown. Madam, it's news from Callisto, and it's not good. Show me. Although all oh. reports have yet to be verified, it has been confirmed that a significant, violent uprising has occurred on the shared MCR UN moon station of Callisto. In what the UN is calling the Callisto Insurrection, Martian-backed laborers in the shipyards of Callisto turned on UN peacekeepers in what is believed to have been a coordinated attack. My god. While tensions have been mounting in the region for some days, the exact purpose of the attacks and any possible coordination with Mars remain unknown. The Martian Congressional Republic has yet to issue a statement. And just in. We have learned that UN Marines are being deployed and are being met with fierce resistance at the station. We are also told that some military officials now believe that a portion of the uprisers may be OPA operatives posing as shipyard workers. It's a message from your son. Listen, I haven't heard back from you yet, and can't talk long, but I didn't want to go into a mission the way we left things. Madam Undersecretary. I want to thank you for believing in me. I know we don't always agree. I didn't. But I'm still grateful for your support and even your advice. Sometimes. Christian, they've released the official list of casualties. I didn't want to enlist, but maybe you were right to twist my arm. I've learned a lot out here. I even met someone really special. So, thank you. I love you, Mom. I'll call you again soon.
more? This bonus episode is uh, longer than all the other ones. mother and you must be Marie all right 57 percent after Sarala told Sharon Paul to get tested uh I didn't think that would be the majority uh, Mr. Rollo was aggressive when speaking the Kurushko meditation did not th only 3% didn't meditate when it really was Sherman Mendes was behind the blackout I was Rollo told Sharon Paul to listen to her about his girlfriend 80% uh, told that he was too hard that she was too harsh about his girlfriend. Uh, Avasarala failed to convince Christian to stop the attack. Oh, okay. I guess because I didn't find enough. Yeah, because I, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. I was needing multiple tries to get all the votes. So I didn't want to do it. Amasarala lashed out a sharp when she was trapped in, you know, finishing the game. Amasarala didn't play all three rounds of chess. No one cares. Or I guess uh, only 14% didn't care. All right, well, that's it for The Expanse. Thanks for watching. Maybe I'll watch the show. Bye!